How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video we're going to be covering my most recommended apps you should have installed on any PC. Whether you've just installed Windows, picked up a brand new PC or running on something that's up to 10 years old, here are all of the applications and programs I would recommend that you have installed. None of these programs cost a single penny, everything is free. And this will show you how to get the best functionality out of your system and have tools available for almost any job. In this video we're going to be covering a number of free programs which you should have installed, quickly covering them, where to get them from and the functionality that these programs offer so you can unlock more potential out of your system and yourself and unlock some cool features and abilities to be able to do certain things in your PC that you otherwise may not think you're able to do. So with all of that out of the way this leads us on to our first program which happens to be this video sponsor Opera GX. Opera GX is a gaming browser which focuses on high performance and full customization of your resources going towards the browser. There's been countless times I've been using other popular browsers, I've had multiple tabs opened and my system resources are being completely hogged by that certain browser causing slow CPU, RAM or even network usage. Opera GX helps alleviate this issue by having tons of features built into the browser such as a CPU limiter, RAM limiter and even network usage so you can choose how much performance the browser has available to it. If you're playing games or doing other heavy tasks in the background and you're not doing much with your browser well you can set the browser to use a very small amount of resources. Opera GX is supported on practically all platforms such as PC, iOS, Android and Mac and has all of the basic functionality you come to expect from a modern browser featuring both light and dark modes, customizable themes, built-in integration with Twitch, Discord, and their player functionality, which allows you to hook in your YouTube music, Apple Music, or Spotify accounts to have access to all of these applications directly with inside of your web browser. Any websites that don't support dark mode, Opera GX features a forced dark pages beta, which will do its best to force all white elements of a certain web page to a darker version. Opera GX features a customizable sidebar with integrated messengers, allowing you to see all notifications and messages incoming. You're able to access these features without leaving the content you are viewing on a different website. Features a built-in ad blocker, free VPN and video pop-out features. And switching over to Opera GX couldn't be simpler. Simply download the web browser, open it up, open the settings of your PC or Mac, under synchronization find import bookmarks and settings and everything will be switched over and ready to go within seconds. GX Cleaner is a relatively new optimization feature built into the browser so you can purge your system of all excess junk files, cached data and anything you don't need from browsing the internet to clean up system resources, free up storage space and keep the browser running at optimal performance. If you're looking for further customization from Opera GX, simply head up to the top right hand side where you can use the easy setup option to change your themes, custom wallpapers, change your browser sounds, setup or change background music. Opera GX also supports GX lights with compatibility with Razer or Corsair component lighting, allowing you to integrate those devices into your web browser and have the lighting match any of the features in which you're using through the web browser and set that up however you wish to do so. So for my first recommendation for this video and to speed up your web experience, download Opera GX today using the link in the description down below and take control of your web browsing experience. And a massive thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Next up at number two, we have Fan Control by Remo. Using the GitHub link in the description down below, this application allows you to hook in and auto detect all of your system fans from case fans, CPU fans, and GPU fans to set one or multiple universal fan profiles that can all be synced up to different temperature target points very simply, quickly, and easily. Outside of the BIOS, allowing you to have full control control in your system over all of your system fans to go from an extremely quiet, relatively warm system if you need your room to be quiet, or 100% speed on absolutely everything if you're playing games and want the best performance possible. Use the link in the description down below to download the utility, scroll down, download, double click in the zipped folder, right click on your desktop, select new, select folder, and I like to call this fan control, Let's drag the contents of the zipped folder into the folder on your desktop, double click on the folder, head over to fancontrol.exe, select yes, and select yes to this, then click any of the options you wish for the program to try and detect. If you do run into any issues with controlling certain fans, such as case fans on your system, boot into your motherboard's BIOS by spamming delete when the system is booting, head over to the fan settings with inside of your BIOS, change DC to PWM for all fans, save the BIOS, reboot into Windows, and you should then be able to detect nearly all fans on your system. And this can help solve performance issues from systems getting too hot, thermal throttling, or allow you to make your system quieter, navigate over to any of the available fan profiles, switch this fan to the on position, navigate down to the plus button, linear curve, temperature source menu, where you can use almost any point in your system to be the temperature target. Then navigate down to edit, the bottom you can see the temperature, and the left hand side you can see the corresponding fan speed at every set temperature. To add an additional point, click anywhere in the graph. I like to have my system running at 70% fan speed at 60 degrees. Once that's then been completed, make sure the curve has been selected for the CPU 
CPU, go to the top right hand side, save configuration as, at any time you need to switch between them, hit load configuration, select the different configurations for the use case you need, select load and that will automatically then be applied. Head to the top left hand side to the three lines, make sure that you start this minimized and start with Windows so you never have to worry about your fan speed again and this will automatically be running every single time you boot your PC. For those of you that have a lot of RGB peripherals, products, fans, GPUs or CPU callers, Signal RGB is a fantastic all-in-one utility that will allow you to add and connect all of your RGB peripherals, even if they are from different brands, to one specific program without the need for 19 different RGB softwares. Use the link in the description down below. Head over to download now. Once the application is loaded, navigate to the bottom left hand side to my rig, go to devices, under any of the sections with the plus icon, simply select plus. If you have anything added to your RGB headers, simply select the product which is attached to this certain header. Once you find the component, select add. You may also have other peripherals such as a GPU, any mouse or keyboards which are detected with inside of here, add all of your devices for your system. Once that's then done, head over to customize, where you can then set default static colors, different rainbow effects. You can change the speed of the rainbow and how quickly these colors change. And you can either go extremely basic with this or go very in depth to have everything matching. However you wish to do so without having to have 19 different RGB softwares all running in the background just trying to make your system look nice. Next up we have Hardware Info. This is a simple, lightweight, easy to use application to monitor all system specs at all times, showing you your fan speed, temperature, GPU speed, clock speed. Any information regarding your PC can be found in this program. Quickly identify any speed or heat issues your system is experiencing and it's one of my favorite and most useful diagnostic tools to have installed on any PC, helping you get to the root of the problem on your PC and get it fixed way more more efficiently. Navigate down to the installer, free download, click on one of the locations underneath this. Once the installer has been saved to your PC, open it up. I'd recommend selecting sensors only, then select start. This will then go through and detect all of your system specs, RAM, fan speed, everything, and give you a massive list showing you everything to do with your system, your individual system specs, your motherboard, GPU, such as my CPU here, I can see my core clocks, the voltage being used, and this is all fantastic information if you are running into any PC issues to offlay to anyone that that may be slightly more in the know than you so they can quickly and easily find any issues in your PC or this can also just help you get more in tune with your system and the information from it. Keeping in the theme of getting the most out of your system we have MSI Afterburner. Once again link can be found in the description down below and for anyone especially those of you that are using Nvidia GPUs you should have this program installed to your PC. From being able to monitor in-game statistics and information such as CPU, FPS, RAM usage on any game MSI Afterburner has some of the best overclocking features for GPU over overclocking built in. You can also undervolt your GPU with the program or you can keep it super simple and basic and just set up custom fan profiles for fan speed which can help boost performance on your GPU by keeping it cooler whilst running longer and getting the most out of the system in which you have paid for. There is not a single system that I personally run that doesn't have MSI Afterburner installed to it because whether you're looking to go into some really in-depth overclocking or just monitor specs with inside of the game, the amount of features available in this app is absolutely unreal and it's completely free. Head down to the download Afterburner section, double click on the Afterburner exe select yes select ok next accept next next next. When installing the application, ensure that both MSI Afterburner and Revertuner statistic servers both being installed as RTSS will be the application you can use on top of MSI to monitor all of your in-game statistics. Select next, next and install. It will then have quick options to be able to change your fan speed at any time by clicking on the user icon and dragging the small dot. In many cases increasing performance, GPU fans by default very rarely actually go up to 100% therefore causing the GPU to run hotter for longer. We now have Process Lasso. Process Lasso is a little bit more of an advanced program but it comes with some phenomenal features and can help you further optimize your system by taking control of the system resources available to all applications on your PC. Using the link in the description down below to download Process Lasso for free, inside of the program you can find any of your games or a certain application running on your PC, right click on the application in the process list, set the individual CPU priority, whether it be high, real time, idle, below normal, set the CPU affinity which is the individual CPU cores the application is allowed to have access to, you can set this anywhere from one core or all cores on your system, induce performance mode, and you can change these options for all applications running on your PC. And it's something I definitely recommend for some of the more advanced users out there looking to take more control of their system. Next up is Latency Mon. This small, lightweight, free application is one of the most important troubleshooting applications I can recommend for any PC gamer. If you're running into excess stuttering, FPS slowdowns, or just issues with your PC that you just simply can't find out what on earth is causing them, Latency Mon is going to help 
help you. Downloading it via the link in the description down below to download now. Open up Latency Mon. Once this is then open on your system, navigate to the top left hand side to start monitor. This will then measure the DPC latency of your overall system. DPC latency is overall system latency and gives you a good indication as to how smooth and responsive your system is. The lower the latency on all of these graphs, the better. If you start seeing yellow bars or even red bars with inside of here, that's going to be a clear indication that you have something that's causing issues. You can also find problematic programs, such as the highest reported DPC routine execution time. It was actually this program that reported the highest DPC latency. So in this case, the slowest service or program running on the PC was actually this one found here. If we head over to the processes section, head up to hard page defaults, you can find the programs which are causing the most issues on your system and potentially causing stuttering. If you go over to drivers, head over to DPC count or highest execution time to appear at the top, you'll be able to find a list of all of the services or drivers on your system which are potentially causing major stuttering issues. So in your main section, if you had something that was causing extremely long DPC routine times, if you head over to the drivers section and you find that the highest execution time is through the roof consistently for certain drivers, that could be a clear indication that that individual driver has an issue with it, where you can then go and update that individual driver and further diagnose the issue rather than being completely in the dark, not knowing what is causing these issues in your PC. Latency monitor will expose them and lead you down the right direction. Once you find any issues in your system and you no longer need to monitor the latency, hit stop, exit out. Next up is one of my personal favorites because I'm dealing with video files all of the time, it's AVI DMUX. Using the link in the description down below or doing a quick Google search to obtain this for yourself, AVI DMUX is a fantastic to use utility if you're someone that records quite a lot of game clips or deals with a lot of video footage that you could do with cutting out the excess rubbish from. Not only will this save you disk space because you won't have as much data in those videos, but the fantastic thing about AVI DMUX is that you don't have to re-encode any videos when making any potential cuts. Find any video files on your system, whether that be game clips from stuff like Nvidia Shadowplay or just any video files. Add your video file into AVI DMUX. So currently this video file on my PC is two minutes long and is taking up 1.47 gigabytes. But there's only about 30 seconds of this entire clip that I actually want to use. Simply use the scroll function to find where you want your clip to actually start. So this entire beginning section I have no interest in using. Once you find that, head over, select A, and this will be where the video then starts. Scroll along, find the end of the video clip you want to keep. For me, that's going to be here. We're then going to select B. Once you've selected A and B, you can now see the chunk of the video we're going to be keeping. All you then need to do is navigate over to the output format, MP4 Muxer, navigate to the top left to the save function, name the edited video clip, then select save. Saving it was practically near instant as no further encoding, unlike rendering a video was needed. And heading over to our brand new video file, you can see under the details section, we're now only using one minute, 12 seconds, and the file size is 872 megabytes, absolutely no quality loss and no time wasted as we don't need to re-encode these files. But if AVI DMUX isn't enough and you're looking to get into some more heavy video editing for any need, regardless of its gaming content, editing up movies, individual clips in which you record, or any project which requires a video editor, this is where number 8 comes in, which is DaVinci Resolve. It's one of the most, if not the most powerful video editor out there, it's got a ton of all-in-one features and is pretty much unmatched. The free version of the program is absolutely phenomenal, allowing access to nearly all features of the paid-for version besides GPU encoding and decoding, but offers phenomenal performance. If you're looking to do any video editing, DaVinci Resolve is the way to go. Using the link in the description down below or doing a quick Google search, heading down to DaVinci Resolve, selecting the free download, selecting your operating system, downloading the application, installing it, opening up, dragging in your source media, and start using what is becoming one of the industry-leading video editors today, completely free of charge. Number nine is OBS, or Open Broadcast Software. At this point, OBS is a household name for anyone involved in gaming content, whether that be streaming, YouTube, but if you haven't tried this out for yourself, Open Broadcast Software is your one-stop shop for recording anything on a PC. Even recording this video right now, I am using OBS to record the screen, all of the assets, and everything. OBS is a completely free-to-use application in which you can go incredibly in-depth with, or keep it's super stripped back and simple if you just want to live stream to some friends simply download the version for the operating system you're using open up the application add in your scenes and sources then simply hook in any live streaming applications set up where you want your video files to be saved to set up your resolution your data rate settings and at that point you are good to go hit start recording or start streaming and get started today making your own content completely free of charge using the best program there is out and last but not least for those of you looking to optimize your system 
the clear out any excess storage, downloading and installing Windows Stat, this application can help you identify where any large files or duplicate files are located on your PC with a fantastic and simple to understand graphical interface. Download and install the program to your system. You can then choose which drives on your PC you wish the application to scan, or you can select individual drives. Inside of the major visual chunks on any drive, head over, click on the chunk, this will then notify you what application is taking up all that space. So I've clicked on this massive chunk and the file that this is showing me that it is, is actually an Apex Legends pack file, which is crucial to the game. But if I didn't realize I had this on my system, this one file is taking up 29.4 gig. So if I then want to go and delete or uninstall Apex Legends, I can, and I'll get all of that storage space back. And that's it for the list. If you're looking to get more information on any of the applications which have been shown in this video, there are more than likely dedicated videos already live or coming to the channel soon, so make sure that you are subscribed. And if you have any personal recommendations for applications, let us know in that comment section down below. And a massive thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Pangino, and I'll see you in the next one.